hello everyone welcome back so in this video I'm going to go through the conditional access for trusted location so if a user if you have your user that are log in from your company's network or the office one of the offices you want to bypass the multi-factor authentications but if they log outside of the company's network like logging from home or logging from a hotel rooms or anywhere else which is outside of the company's network you want to enable the MFA so for the conditional access for trusted location let's go into Azure Active Directory and then you would go to conditional access I'm going to create name and locations create a new location IP address ranges I'm gonna call this office of my company call it offices of my company I'm going to mark this as trusted location and the IP ranges um, I'm just going to make it up because I don't know this is my lab I don't remember the IP ranges let's put dot 10 dot 82 10 dot 99 dot 0 slash 24 22 I'm gonna create so the subnets has been added to a, a trusted location and what you're going to do is um, configure the MFA for trusted IPs. You can configure that by entering the IP subnets here also as well. But for the conditional access, you want to go into Azure Active Directory and then conditional access. I'm going to call this. CA for trusted location using groups I'm going to put all users cloud apps I'm going to choose all cloud apps You know what? I'm, I don't want to lock myself out, so for now I'm not going to deploy. It. So you have to be really extra careful when you create this conditional access. You might lock yourself out as an administrator. So I'm going to click none for now. Client apps, I mean cloud apps, all cloud, conditional, or condition. The lo location, you want to configure the location. control user access based on their physical location so they would say yes all trusted location so when you select all trusted location only user will not log in if they're not on the all trusted location so for now, I'm just going to click any location. Click on done. Client apps. You can configure client apps for browser, mobile apps and desktops. Click done.
devices you can select all state or I'm not going to configure device state for right now grant access click on done then grant control access so right here is very important require multi-fact authentication Click on select. Let's go back to condition. So, when the uh, grant access, I had it require multi factor authentication. Condition here, I have to. Put in any locations so this is configured correctly sign and risk I'm not I'm not configuring that for right now just only the location you can also exclude certain IP subnets or I'm going to choose office of my com offices of my company. Click on select. So when you choose this, it does not require multi-factor authentication if the users are in the company's network or in one of these um, IP subnets. So for the exclude. You want to make sure you exclude the company's trusted location. Click on OK. Click on Done. And click on Create. So, did you get that? Let's go through it one more time. So, Assignment. I don't have any users assigning right now. Cloud Apps. I select all Cloud Apps. Conditions locations say so any location will require a multi-factor authentication exclude the company's network subnets client apps so you want to apply this to the browser mobile apps and desktop apps that's like i look for mobile or i look for desktops you know, any microsoft offices office products and it will affect modern authentication client and the legacy authentication clients as well. And then click on done. And then you click on create to create a trusted location. I'm not going to enable the policy for now. This is just for testing. Click on create. So now as you can see here, um, conditional access for trusted location. You can change it, modify it, deploy it, delete it, anything you want by click on this three dots right here. Click on delete. Let's go back to the root of conditional access. So the name and low locations that I created here, um, you can go in and modify it by adding more subnets. I click on IP ranges and click on add. Or you can create based on countries if the user are in the United States you don't require them to um, enter their MFA or second credential authentication. 
that's it thank you for watching that was the conditional access based on location if you have any question please feel free to type in your question in the comment sections thank you for watching and have a good day